I don't know what we're about to talk about, so. Good. All right, everybody. Welcome to Game Turn 7's podcast about the Division Endgame content woes slash podcast. So in this, we're going to discuss the Endgame and why I'm playing Rainbow Six Siege right now and a little bit of Halo Wars and, you know, shit like that. And uh, first off, let's talk about what the Endgame is so we can get some clarification. Now, Hero... This I want. I'm gonna ask these questions before I give them my perspective. To you, what is the division's end game content? Well, at the end of the day, the end game content is farming AI for fucking high end weapons like you did in Destiny. But you get daily challenge missions. You get Phoenix credits, which are strange coins 2.0. Um, a daily challenge mission. And I think that's about it, isn't it? So isn't that all dailies? The, yeah, that's all the end game content. So the da- the the end game content is mid maxing, farming yes. dailies. That that yes. Doing dailies. Yes. And then it's the dark zone, which is farming AI bosses. Now, the only caveat asterisk to the dark zone is that they've actually changed it. But I will always say that the dark zone concept, I liked it. But since the core concept of Division is built around min-maxing, at least right now... See, in the beta, it wasn't about min-maxing. Killing AI was just something to do while you were waiting for shit to pop off. But right now, you go in the dark zone trying to get yellows to drop or Phoenix credits to farm. The problem with this game is it's something that the fans caused, as always. As the What you do in the dark zone is you're trying to farm instead of waiting for the world to uh, ex- to, to expose it, how, what it's going to be. Like I said, in the beta, you, you would kill AI because you were waiting for shit to happen. Right now in yeah, this game... Yeah, you would kill AI waiting for somebody to come shoot you. Now what goes on in the, in the Dark Zone in the main game is you go kill AI, and then if someone shows up, something may happen. But you hope it doesn't happen. But in the beta, you hope Even shit happened. Even though happen. they fixed it. Yeah, in the beta, you were... You were just waiting. It was going to happen. In the game, they fixed it, but people are still not going rogue because it's a farming simulator. You're just trying to get high end, and when people finally get those purple and high end drops, they don't want to go rogue, and they don't want. No one wants to lose their stuff because it's high end and superior, so no one goes rogue. No one now, wants to lose any of it. They don't want to get their pussy pounded, so no one, no one goes rogue. It's still the same thing. Now, I haven't played it since the update. So I can't comment on the current status of it, but I can comment on the current build of the game's end game content. And so, let me start out with the daily. So they basically you do the challenge modes, which challenge modes, one sweep around is fine. The issue with the dailies is I'm I'm not do like I'm not doing Destiny again. That's why I'm not playing that game. So I'm not playing the same content that I don't have fun with or don't consider. The top tier challenging like like i comment like i say i'll say at the end and i'll say here and now vault of glass is better than the daily challenges and the challenge mode you agree i agree to this okay I, I agree so that's that. my point that's why i was fine playing vog every week but i and i i still want to play vog that's how good it was i do not want to play those challenge modes straight up it's that simple well i mean you get to a point to where The daily missions are just another mission. You just get better loot at the end sometimes. And the challenge missions are just... Sometimes they're just super dicky, bro. Like, Russian Consulate, y'all have fun. (laughs) Y'all have fun. It's just... It's ridiculous. It really is. And so... so... It's either... You just get one-shotted by every fucking thing. Everything insta-downs you, which I know it's supposed to be a challenge, but... I'm tired of doing the same missions over and over again. One, you don't... I'm tired of doing that. You don't get that good of loot. It's really not worth it. You don't rank up anymore, so you don't get XP or anything. There's just no reason to do it. You And, like, the only reason to do it is for min-maxing. But there's more efficient ways yeah, to do it at that point. Except, I guess, the Phoenix credits is the only reason to do it. But, like at I said... At that rate, I'd rather just go kill bosses at the Dark Zone and get high-end loot more often. <laughs> So, I mean, as far as the dailies and stuff, why I don't, why, why that's a turn off for me is, is I'm playing the same exact missions that I've played once, twice, maybe three it's times, Destiny and over. multiple ladies. We've already gone so, through this before. And, and that's the thing is, is some people haven't gone through this before. I know most people have gone through this before, and people, some people are fine with this. 
But to me, that's why I choose to play Rainbow Six Siege over that is because I'd rather play against, I'd rather play real PV, a PvP game than a PvE game where you play the exact same content over again that isn't even that special of content. Like I, like I said, I'm, I'm fine playing the same raids over and over again, the same strikes as long as they're enough diverse and stuff. Like Destiny at the end, you know, Nightfalls, before, the, before they ruined the Nightfalls in my opinion, I like the OG Nightfalls. But... And, and the strikes, too bad, like, you had to play them so much, that ruined them. But the, the raids were fucking phenomenal, and I was fine playing the raids over and over again every week. But what I'm not fine with is playing those shitty... The challenge modes are a joke, bro. And the fact that they want you to play those same challenge modes every day... Well, you don't... They don't... You don't have to play them, but it's kind of, like, implied, like, Hey, man, if you want to do the dailies, thus every day, you gotta play the same missions over and over again. And I'm like, nah, I'm good. Yeah. That's my thoughts on those. So, then I move on to the list. I wrote this all down at work. So, the PvP is just there to add tension for the grinding. It's not really PvP. And we, we hit on that at the start of the vid, and I agree to that. So, uh, I don't really have anything to add unless you do. Yeah, like we said, in the beta, you were just waiting. Something was going to happen. You were just killing AI in order to pass the time till it did. Now that you get high end of superior loot, no one wants to go rogue. There's no tension when you go in the dark zone. No one ever goes rogue still. I've watched streams and videos and stuff recently after the patch. No one goes rogue. Because no one wants to lose their loot. No one wants to take... Yeah, they dumb down. You don't lose as much XP and money. But you still lose your loot if you die. So no one wants to die. No one goes rogue. So... Oh. And then I said, and I summar summarized it, it's recycled, the end game is recycled content and PvE farming simulator. Uh, but it's quote unquote PvP, no, don't forget that. So that's my thought on that. Now, it's not all hope is lost though. You have incursions coming and free content. Um, this can give the game major life and it can save it. But it's also, oh my bad. But it's also Star Wars Battlefront all over again, except the issue here is the developers not understanding endgame content and what's fun while Star Wars Battlefront's issue was not enough maps. They were damn too lazy to add them in at the start, so they waited fucking a decade. So that was that game's problem was it just shriveled up. This game's not going to shrivel up, but the question is, is incur are incursions in the next month's free content going to be enough to keep the game alive? Cause, uh, well, cause, I, mean, I think the game will be alive either way. It's just will it keep us playing it? Because I mean, it's still number two on the list, and it'll stay that way for a while. The game won't die, but is it gonna make me and you want to play? Is it gonna make people like us, people who probably played Destiny and didn't like that, is it gonna make us want to play it? See, and that's where kind of I think it is fair to compare Destiny as far as like the content thing. Destiny's biggest issue was what the content was, and while other games like Borderlands, like See, the issue is is that a game like this is kind of set up that you want to hit mid-max, you want to mid-max to the max, and then you want to play every day. But the issue is is when you design it for something like that, Borderlands wasn't designed like that. And so that's why playing it was fun, because you felt like, I can do this my way, or I can do this slow, I can do it any way I want. But a game like this, you kind of feel pressured to mid-max. You kind of feel pressure not to be getting shitted on in the dark zone once you get to the end game content. Like Borderlands' end game content was to play the game again if you wanted. You didn't have to. You could play a new character and just play the same. You could do it different different ways. But a game like this is set up is that the end game content is set up that keep playing every day. But what do you want to keep playing every day? You want to go farm bosses? Do you want to go farm the same missions over and over again? Or do you want to do well, PvP but usually doesn't end up that well? So that's kind of the issue. Yeah. Now, yeah, in the in-game content is pretty much you need to go mid-max and farm bosses because if you go rogue, everybody in the fucking server is going to jump on you, and that doesn't end good. So then you add in, now, incursions can, if, I mean, we can eat our words in a couple of weeks from now if incursions drop, and we're like, oh, man, this shit is amazing. It's like firefight and strikes and, and mixed with a little bit of raiding. Yeah. And, Take like, what we say with a grain of salt, because in three weeks, it could be completely different. But, so, I mean, we'll have to wait and see what incursions, but it, it, the issue is, is the, the positive is, is this game's groundwork is really, really good. Um, with all the death from mid, that 
you know, min maxing leads to and, and like the depth from crafting and guns and attachments and all that shit and how much there is to do with that. The issue is there's just not enough content to do anything with. And so I guess that's a good thing. If, if you had to pick a problem, it would be just not enough content because you can always add more content, but you can't always add more groundwork. Destiny's lack of content is what killed it in the end. You know, even when we look back, all there is to that game that was good is how overpowered the, the exotics raids. were and in the raids and trials of yeah. Osiris. That's all the game had. It was, th it was two, basically two things, <laughs> you know? Yeah, no one went on patrol unless you were farming for a sword. Let's be real. Yeah, there was a bunch of filler content. And while the division doesn't have filler, well, the filler content is the missions. <laughs> and so that's the issue. <laughs> but when they start adding more and more to it, that can take it to the next level and fix the issue. My, my point being is I want to sit here and bash it, but I also have to be real and say, you know, they can, they're, they're probably going to save it. And so I don't want to sit here and harp on it too much. Yeah. Uh, like we two. said, incursions could drop and be amazing. Oh, and then, right. uh, oh, go ahead, son. No, go ahead. So there's the phrase, the separation of church and state, so I changed it to the separation of main game and end game. So when I sat here and dick sucked this game like a motherfucker, and uh, I want to come here and say um, I'm allowed to do that because I separate the main game and end game. So I do think the, the main game was really fun, really good. I And, and see, I'm going to hit you with a little something diff, uh, sketchy. I'm going to say that the main game, I include the main PvE area of the game, the non-Dark Zone area. I include that as the uh, main game. I don't think that's not end game. I think farming, I think going around and finding the echoes and lore and stuff, I consider that main game. I don't consider that end game. Granted, you do it in the end game. I consider game, that main game as well, yeah. But it is main game. It ties into the main game. So I don't consider that end game the same way I wouldn't consider beating Grand Theft Auto and going around finding all the dubs in Grand Theft Auto 4 is the end game content in Grand Theft Auto 4. I would just <laughs> consider that the continuation. So that's how I look at it as that. So like I said, the main game for the game is really good and solid and it was fun and I enjoyed it. The end game is trash mode though. So I will say that as the Yeah, I agree. Leveling up to 30 was really fun. I don't care. It's my opinion. I really enjoyed leveling up to 30. Me, Aaron, and Dylan leveling up was a shit ton of fun. The missions playing them the first time were fun. Even though, I mean, yes, it is the same thing over and over again. The dialogue was really good. The main game was really fun. Finding the Echo, seeing the map, all the attention to detail was insane. Learning about everything, it was really fun. And then once you get to the end game content and you're done with all the fun main game stuff, it's just boring as all can be, bro. It's just the same stuff over and over and over again. And like me too. and him have stated, we don't we don't want the Destiny number two. We've gone through that before. There's other games to play now, unlike when Destiny was out, where it was really the only thing to play. I'd much rather play this than just play the same game. He's right here. Missions over and over again. He's right there, in that room. Oh, I know. There he's down there. <laughs> he's a magician. Oh. oh, wow! You got me trying to get you. Um. So I will say once again on the end game content, I will say Dark Zone, I would say Destiny's PvP Clash, trial not trials, but uh, just default game. The main PvP uh, with Clash and Iron Banner, Iron Banana, is better than the Dark Zone, and I definitely will say without a shadow of a doubt, Vault of Glass beats the challenge mode. <laughs> Oh, Vault of Glass destroys so, the challenge. So I would even, even put say, those on the same chart. I would say as far as end game content, if this game had a fucking raid. And that was about it. So all you did was a raid and then I guess the challenge modes. And the... Fuck it. If they had a raid in this goddamn game that was like as good as Vault of Glass, I'd be sucking this game's dick. I won't lie. If Incursions come out and Incursion is a raid and we're like, oh my god, this is the greatest thing. Or if it's like ODST Firefight or something and we're just like, man, it's like the next Zombies or like... I'll equate it to that. Like ODST Firefight was a really good game mode. You didn't play it, I assume. Right? No, nope, never played it. I loved ODST's firefight, and so if just a, it's like a horde mode, just but it was like really well because it was challenging and it was difficult, and I had fun with it. It was fun to play solo also, and so if accursions drop, and I know it's a strike style thing, it's either gonna be strike or rage. It's not gonna be horde mode, but just for the intents and purposes of saying, it's like a really good event. If that drops and adds into the game more completed, where 
you can go to the incursions to get your loot. You go to the dark zone, and you're not farming. Like I said, the issue is is that you're farming in the dark zone for yellow loot and phoenix credits. You should be farming yeah, in the I dark zone just for the fuck of it. Yeah. That's the issue. Yeah, just for the PvP factor. Yeah, yeah. the loot in it is good right now, but it, it may, at the end of the day, you should want to go rogue. It's meant there so, to be a fun PvP so zone. So that is the issue. The issue I is, is that... I see where you're going with that. If they make the, the incursion loot, to where you get your best loot, and then people will go rogue more in the dark zone. That's what Destiny did. The best loot in the game was from the raid, um, and then in Trials, you play Trials not for the loot, but I play Trials for the competitiveness. I think I, I, yeah, I, I might have solved I played the issue trials again. just because I really enjoyed Trials. It was a fun 3v3 game mode to play with your friends and just to have a good time with it and try to go flawless. I didn't care about the loot. I mean, the loot, yeah, it's still there and it's still fun and you still have that chance of an exotic, but that's not why I played Trials. I played Trials just because it was a competitive, fun game mode to play with friends. See, they had the loot the right way the first time. The best way to get the just you just get yellow loot for playing the fucking game, man. That, that was the way it needs to be. Like I said, the carrot on the stick and there shouldn't I, I don't see carrot on the stick theory doesn't always hold up. Grand Theft Auto I don't know Grand Theft Auto. Does Grand Theft Auto hold a carrot on the stick? I mean I guess it's apples oranges. But Rainbow it's Six Siege has on no the stick is <laughs> the the money. You need you need to buy more money so you can get cars. You gotta get cars and stuff in that game. That's All right. carried on the stick. Rainbow Six Siege, Battlefield, these games don't have carrot on the stick. I know they don't do as big as those games, and I know Grand Call of Duty has finally adopted a carrot on the stick system and I know it's appealed more to casuals and stuff. But for all intents and purposes, for me personally, fuck a carrot on the stick. I want to play the game because I have fun with it. And so Ten seconds. P people will keep playing uh, the division for mid-maxing purposes Five and they get yellows and stuff. But for me, I'm always I'm I'm a I'm a adrenaline junkie type shit. Is I'm always chasing that next high, man. I'm always chasing that next overkill extermination. I'm always chasing my next wipe out your whole team out of nowhere on a super flank. I'm not, and I'm always chasing after you know that division clip where the guy goes and comes out of nowhere and takes out three guys with a sniper. Yeah. I'm not chasing after the next. Oh, I got a yellow to drop. Yeah. I'm not chasing my next gallow yeah, that, to drop. Yeah, I see where you're going with this. So, I'm like that too. I miss that. Oh, I had a shit on your whole team with a super in trials, or I sniped your whole team in trials, or I killed a group of three while rogue in the dark zone. Not, yeah, I didn't. And oh, I got a yellow, so what? And so once again, I, I learned something new. That's the issue with division is where's the adrenaline rush? Watch out, dude. There, there is none. The, outside of the dark zone, if something pop off, but there's like it's not really designed for that. And so maybe it is. I don't know. Have to go back and play it. But the challenges offer you nothing like that. At least ODST, firefight, and zombies offer you moments like that. When somebody goes down, and you have to do a clutch circle, or you have to do something really clutch. Yeah, that can happen in the in in the challenge mode. But there's less on less on less on at stake at that time. You know the the, the level. Yeah. yeah. So. You know, you die and fuck up in ODST or zombies, you're done. There ain't no revive. You guys fucking yeah, you're done. You just wasted and your last four hours, bro. I mean, that's if you're high rounding yes. and shit, but still. Fuck. So, that's that's where I stand on that. Uh, I think we nailed everything. You have anything to add with the endgame content? Incursions, DLC, plants, uh, shit. Shit. Shit, bro. bro. Uh... I don't know. I really want incursions to be good because I want to be playing that game right now. There's just nothing to do. I really want incursions to be top notch. I want it to be another VOG to where you're constantly playing it because it's just that fucking fun. But I'm not getting my hopes up because I don't want it to come out and be shit and then I'm all sad because, oh, well, can't play Division for a little bit longer. I mean, I guess I'm going to be a little different here and say I really don't want to play that game. It's just <laughs> the way it is and everything, I mean, man. I, it, division, I'd rather play like, Overwatch, man, even if I'm they like, fix the division, bro. Like, I'm, I'm, just I'm not... really looking forward to Overwatch. You and me both. Yeah, I... definitely. But, like, I love the concept of the Dark Zone. Like, I want the Dark Zone to be like it was in the beta. But it's just, it's not. Like, it's not fun to play. I'd rather play this game. I mean, mm -hmm. I want to play The Division just because it's the game that just came out, but at the same time, I don't want to play it just because it's boring. Like, I want to want to play it. I guess that's a better way to say it. 
I mean, but what would you do in the fucking dark zone if we weren't farming for shit? That's like, the point. That that's why we don't. I play mean, it. would we just I go to dark to, zone six and watch some kids farm some point. shit and then like see if we can get them that's, to go rogue yeah. or some or, or fucking just be in there? Not like a dickhead status, but but in a way that they're like, oh, watch out, these guys are here, and they get a little tense. But because we're always trying yeah, to get fucking our is. own version of yellows and stuff, that we don't even have the chance to do something like that. Yeah, I mean that's yeah. I mean that's all. That's all you'd be able to do. Like I said, there's there's nothing to do in that game except farm AI. That's all it is. Is a farming simulator 2016. Like I said, I want to want to play that game because I love the concept of the Dark Zone, but it's just not all it's cracked up to be like it was in the beta. It's just the farming area. That's all it is. It's just another PVE zone, and it's not fun. <laughs> That's why we're playing this game. This game is more fun to play than the Dark Zone because the Dark Zone isn't even Dark Zone. It's just not a PvE area. So, I will say that the fans and everybody called it that the end game was going to suck and have woes and the developers were being dicky with the end game content because they knew there was nothing in it, not because it was complicated or whatever. Wow. I just got one shot by Montang with M9. Wow, get the fuck out of here, Treyarch. No. I don't know. No, I do know. So, But we'll see. Uh, with uh, April coming <laughs> up, though, uh, we'll see what incursions. I don't think that has a release date yet. It's just April. And then April's popping off, though. Battleborn fucking beta's coming out in the middle of the month. I figure I'll play it just so I can get a good feel of what... Have a small idea of what Overwatch is going to play like. And then I'll play Battleborn just so I can uh, lend an opinion on it. <laughs> I'll, I'll definitely play the beta for Battleborn, yeah. Because everybody says Battleborn sucks, so I want to play it and see if it sucks, just like I did with Homefront. And also, fucking Mirror's Edge Catalyst betas. Mirror's Edge Catalyst comes out um, in fucking May, like May 24th. So that, the beta hasn't even been announced yet, <laughs> other than sign-ups. So it's fucking funny. I over here Googled it. I'm like, when the fuck is this beta coming? There's still no official word yet. I'm like, Jesus. That was a good spot, but... Oh, and then I, I wrote down Doom's beta's coming up. But you gotta be fucking, like, pre-ordered. Not pre-ordered, but fucking, like, it's really fucking exclusive type shit. You have to, like, you would have had to buy Wolfenstein. So I'm oh, not in that. Fuck that, which is interesting because I actually kind of want to fucking play that Doom bait. I want to play Doom. I don't want to buy it, but I really want to see how it is because it looks decent. It looks fun at least, worth the play. But I ain't paying for it. And then yeah, and like we said, uh, and then Overwatch is coming up. Got Quantum Break coming out soon. Yo, Quantum Break comes out in like two weeks, and bruh, I don't even fucking. Know I've I've been buy watching now. some trailers and stuff on it. Does and it look I, better? I didn't. I really didn't see myself playing that game which i never really looked into it just because single player games don't really appeal to me as much even though i do have fun with single player games but i might get that game bro it looks really good i mean the fact that i just beat halo wars means i have some free time and shit <laughs> and i don't have a primary game so if i don't have nothing better to do i'll probably just get quantum break anyways and go play it and then sell it or get it from redbox or whatever but yeah i'm i might get that game because i mean like i said i play single Yo, player if games ain't nothing... i have fun with them i just just don't look into them because they don't appeal to me as much but i mean that if... game man it looks really good if there ain't nothing better to do fucking come april 5th we might as well just get overwatch Cause I'll be off Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Download it and beat yeah, it. Quantum Break, you mean? Yeah, my, my bad. Yeah, Quantum Break. You said Overwatch, but yeah. Yeah, no, my bad. If there's, cause unless incursions drop the same day, there shouldn't be anything else to play. This, this is Call true. Call of Duty I DLC mean, that, is that no. That might be what we wind up doing. Rainbow Six Siege DLC is either. no. Incursions is probably we'll not. Call of Duty DLC ain't coming out to like fucking June. <laughs> um that's not really a joke either it's it, it it's it'd be really close to june is when we'll get it on expo in all seriousness because they'll have to announce it and yeah. it'll take like two weeks of trailers and hype and shit 
and then it'll like i said man watch the dates man yeah, watch for playstation then. ritz's I'll album will come out before get it on Xbox. think about this ritz's album will come out before fucking that before um i ain't opposed man that album looking really fucking good that's crazy but uh um we're not getting out of rim dlc fuck man I'm not yeah. spending any more money on that game. Yeah, well then, yeah, then there's no fucking way. Then we'll probably have nothing to play at that time, and unless they patch the fuck out of over Division, and we go back to it. But I just don't even feel like fucking going back to it right now. I don't want to. It's yeah. two things, man. I'm not impressed with the end game content. I don't like it, and I don't want to burn myself out on that game while it's while it's still in shitty mode. And so that's why it's not. Yeah, why I don't. Yeah, play I see what it. you mean. Like I'm kind of yeah, cool. I feel the like, same I'm way. like I I'll wait to play it because I I really want to play it, or I mean I really would like to put some more time into it, but I just know I'm not gonna have that as much fun. So I'm like fuck it, bro. Yeah, I oh, mean that man. game really isn't. I have more fun. I'd rather just sit in a party and talk than play that game because that's where all the fun is. With that game is just us talking and cracking jokes, not actually playing. You mean sitting there calling storm effect? I got killed from the left right there. Yeah, over there somewhere. That's where it was. You're dead. But, uh, yeah. Alright, well, this has been 807. I was about to turn around, too. This has been a hero and gangster nerd talking about division once again. And our opinions that you probably don't care about.